Hello everyone, welcome back to Leif Station and Base Construction in Kerbal Space Program 2 Early Access where I'm going to try to get to the bottom of what we have wrong here. Now I've changed the workspace orientation, we are on the launch pad, but I don't trust the Weasleys. We are going to try to swap out the Weasleys, so I don't know if that's going to work out, but the bright side is we're not carrying any Kerbals. Now will that solve our problem? I don't know. Nope. That's just weird. Where did that nose cone suddenly go, huh? I gotta conclude that it wasn't Weasleys. Though, they have their own problems. Okay, this comes out... Uh, comes outside just fine. Maybe I just need more launch clamps. But, really? <laughs> um... Uh, okay, there's something weird about these boosters. Just get rid of them. Oh. This part it likes. The boosters it didn't like. I'm gonna try liquid boosters and hope it doesn't kill us. Um, what were we looking for out of these? We were looking for 3,000. Um, we don't really have a good engine for that. The vector, if we cluster four of them, might work out, but maybe it's the third one and having it attached down here that's the problem because of the wings and all. It's not really attaching. I, I slide it down all the way from up here to attach it. Uh, maybe actually I should separate the well, maybe even separating the wings, attaching it and putting them back together again is a bad idea. Either of these things could make it glitch out. In theory, the impulse of separation shouldn't hurt anything. So I don't need separatrons. That's a lot of thrust weight ratio, but it's probably lying. <laughs> uh, and it could be fun. Okay, liquid boosters. Maybe OP. Maybe it'll, it says 3.24 thrust weight ratio. We won't throttle all the way up. Did it bring it out? It brought it out! It didn't explode immediately. We have one launch clamp. <laughs> Shh! Don't tell the game. Okay, um... <laughs> this is probably going to go back. Uh, uh, wait, I thought we had three. Where is the rest of them? No, oh, no, that's the... Where's... Uh, the, the, there's only one. Okay. One launch clamp. Let's see what happens. I throw all down, because we have a lot of thrust weight ratio. Okay. Okay, we don't have that much, apparently. Okay, now we have more. Oh no! Why? Okay. Um, go up. Go up. You've got vectors. You can do this. No, up. You know what? Let's just restart. Let's, um, roll it so that it's oriented a little bit better. And let's take off an engine on each one. <laughs> uh, a little bit too much. So wait, which way does it have to be rolled? We want it like this. I'll keep to one launch clamp. The work's fine. Oh no 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 The fins are down here, I swear. Gosh darn you. These might be a little bit too powerful or something. But we have those there too. And you know what? Let me put the extra fuel on. Because we're using a lot more than I thought. I'm still gonna use one launch clamps. One launch clamp. Take that, logic. Okay. Here we go again. Okay. 
No, 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 no. <laughs> Okay, well, it didn't really tell me the truth about the Delta V. We're going to have to use the Swerve for extra. Whoa. I don't think our Delta V is going to work out for us. Yeah, with our Delta V right now, we won't have enough to actually make orbit around Jewel and Leaf and all that business, so... Hmm. Oh, I'll just make them longer, I suppose. Maybe the earlier glitches with this thing was the game trying to tell me that it's a bad idea. Anyway. Please turn safely. Please turn safely. I don't care that there's a little bit of inclination, we're leaving anyway. Might as well coast, though. Uh, fine. Delta V-wise, this is going to be a delicate situation. Hey, you said 400. This thing... <laughs> Symmetry and that thing always with the lies. Don't hurt me. Okay, well, we're in orbit. We've got 2,940. That's not perfect, but I do like to keep things tight anyway. We'll see if it works, and then next time we'll send something better. Uh... Encountering Jewel, but we can't see our Jewel periapsis because of the moon. No. Should we wait an orbit? Mm, the moon's still there. <sighs> I don't have enough patience to wait for orbit after orbit. We'll just go with this. I feel like I'm going backwards. Anyway, uh, we'll start now. Oh, that's a moon. Figures that be rising right now, good indication that we're going to end up encountering it. Oh, it's not keeping track of anything anymore down here. Hold on a sec. Let's continue, but it's given up on us. Well, we've got a jewel periapsis there. Um. Oh, we're getting f further away. All right. Let me see if I can tease Tylo at all. No. Well, a lathe is... That's not a bad place to encounter a lathe. Doesn't seem to be doing much. Oh, no. Uh, well, it says P over there, though. Huh? Hmm. I thought lathe would have more of an effect on our orbit. I feel like it doesn't have the effect it used to. It used to be able to capture you. Oh, now it is. Okay. All right. Th that's that's good. We'll let it do that. That might save us a little bit. But we want the resulting orbit to still be in line with Lathe. Okay. That looks good. All right. That will be it. We will have a dual periapsis. We have that maneuver. But, how's the whole moon thing going? I'm amazed we could plot that while still having this moon thing in the way. Let's see. Alright. Going away from Kerbin. We do have the other mission to pay attention to, though. The station part. So we have to watch out for that. I guess that's the moon over there. So finally we were able to launch this 
particular space plane. We don't know if it's going to be safe as far as its return, as uh, its landing on Leif because of its delta V. Somehow science was done. Okay. We don't have any crew on here, right? No, Desmi Kerman snuck on again in the dark. Okay, well, we have a Kerbal as it turns out. But before we do anything else, let's save. Now, what happens next? Well, we've got the other mission. So there's 217 days. Okay, yeah, you control. 217 days. This one doesn't need our attention until it gets there. But I don't know how many days that is because it doesn't say how many days it is when you're encountering Jewel. And it doesn't. It also doesn't say when you're crashing. But maybe I can make a little... Nope, I can't make a maneuver there. Uh, let's make a maneuver here. Two hundred no, one year and two hundred and thirty-two days. So that's gonna be a while. Uh, I think we get to bring our plane back before we have to do the mid-course correction with the space plane. Let us see. Kerbin has to be behind Jewel by forty-eight degrees. I think that's forty-eight-ish. Some something around there is fine. Okay. So now the little space plane on the surface of Lathe needs to come back. Do I dare just... let's see, let's see. Are you okay? Are you okay? Our rover is on a crashing trajectory? Doesn't seem that way. Okay, I am going to time warp here to daylight because I don't want to fly at nighttime. Okay, we have comms thanks to our first station module in orbit. Let's just get into orbit first, and then figure out how to get back home. It's got 1,800 to work with, but we're shutting this engine down for now. I can't right-click on it and do that. Uh, okay, um, that says activate, but we're deactivating. It's complicated. Oh no! It used some of the methane during launch, it must have. We didn't- uh, did we use the methane to land? I forget- I don't think we did. We don't have as much methane as we should have. I think it- uh, it actually sucked this methane up during the launch. Okay, other than that... Yeah, I don't know if we have enough Delta V to even get into orbit. Much less get back home. Okay. No, well, here we go. I'm trying to use my joystick. <laughs> I want to go prograde. Please let there be enough land. See, I want fuel priority. I want fuel priority so it doesn't accidentally suck up the methane during launch when I don't mean for it to. The the other one doesn't have fuel cross feed through the coupler because the boosters don't share the hydrogen with it. But for this one, the booster did share hydrogen with it, so we had cross feed through the decoupler so that the swerve could use the hydrogen. But that also meant that the booster was using this thing's methane. Well, we have to get the rocket engine in on this. Okay, here we go. Well, now it has 2,800, so maybe we're in better shape than I thought. Uh-oh, heating. Let me just coast for a bit. Our apoapsis is going up because of lift. But that's not helping the periapsis. Uh, oh, we're on the downward side. Whoops, I thought we were on the upward side. Did I just time warp right through that? Okay. It's got a lot of drag in the upper atmosphere here. Oh, it does have a docking port there. Okay. Thank goodness. We'll just have to send some fuel over.
Okay, we're in orbit, but I don't think 706 is enough to get back. But just out of curiosity, we'll plot something. We need to get Lathe in the right place. So to get back to Kerbin, we go this away, and what we want to- uh, we would normally burn, like, up here, if Lace orbit was our orbit. So we want Leif to be over there. Okay, so I think this is a good place for Leif to be. A Tylo! What? No! No Tylo, stop flinging me off over there. Oh, right. When you have no fuel, it doesn't even tell you anything. Stop, Tylo. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna wait in orbit. Let's just... I don't know if that'll solve the Tylo situation, but... Let me... Oh, the slow panels are out. Okay, I don't think we're getting back with this thing. We're going to have to refuel it in order to get it back. We'll just leave it here for now. Uh, it is going to stay in orbit of Lathe until we can get some fuel to it. If that's even worth it, I don't know. Maybe we should just dock it to the station as a permanent... Nah, it's useless like that. Okay, so let's deal with the missions coming in.